so we're doing something completely outside of the box at the Pickleball Pirate channel. I, Joey Gamir, certified with the PPR. I coach at Mission Inn. Look, I'm not trying to sell myself. I play pickleball a lot. I love it. I love the game. It's changed my life. Why has it changed my life? Because I've made some extremely amazing friends. I have something to do in the evenings, you know? I'm social? Okay, let's get to the game, people. I don't have ADD. We are at the Villages in Florida. And this is going to be a good game. So Christy just served. She's in the top right-hand corner. She's a very good player. We have Christy, who just had a nice forehand. He's in the top left-hand corner in pink. And their opponents. The opponents are Mean Gene. Now, Mean Gene just hit a nice, mean forehand. He's an orange. If you haven't got to see Mean Gene, sit back, you know, grab a Coke, because he's fun to watch. And we have Beard Santa. Beard Santa has no name. He goes by Beard Santa. You know his favorite day of the year, December 25th. Or any time he gets to play pickleball, which is probably 365 days. Beard Santa is serving. It's 2-1. Now, me and Gene hit a, you know, he probably should take in a forehand on that shot. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Let's keep watching. So me and Gene has a deep serve. And that's a very nice deep serve. He did make one grave mistake. After he served, he stepped into the court. Because he did that, he had to step back. It's almost like he's dancing, doing the tango. And I see this with a lot of beginner to intermediate players. I still do it. I'm not saying I don't. I have issues. Everyone knows that. And that's a beautiful shot by Christy. She really hugged the middle. And she was aggressive. And um, Christy, you know, Nico's a very lucky guy. That's, that's what I have to say. Christy has a shorter serve. Beard Santa took the advantage. And Mean Gene is just really, you know, being kind of a little mean. Being aggressive, keeping them back, hitting at their feet. And they won the point. I do not watch the matches before I commentate, but I could just tell that short serve really allowed them to take control of the point. Guys, I had to put these clips together. Um, this is Nico's first time uploading. And, um, you know, we all have problems. But he's going to be a regular on this channel. Now, they play the villages all the time. And to give you a little bit of a background with Nico and Christy, we're going to, you know, we're going to do a segment on them about that progress. You know, they play with the US Open Senior 65 plus gold medal winners. He didn't really say what division. I'm assuming it's 4 5 or 5 0 oh, because. They're very athletic, and you could tell they want to be the best. Because, you know, Nico has a gold, you know, pink shirt. But they are playing aggressive. That, that position is very good. Beard Santa, you know, he's not used to the um, hot climate. He usually plays in Antarctica. Um, he's actually just up here on business. <laughs> but Beard Santa actually did, did something extremely good at that point. He has forehand middle. He's playing really well. And you could tell he plays to his strengths. He's tall. He has long arms. And he's positioned right. Obviously, he's not the fastest because he gets a lot of cookies. You know, December 24th, you know, so on. Mean Gene hits a great shot, gets to the kitchen line, stays at the kitchen line, and that's what you want to do. When you're returning the ball, you want to hit the ball, you want to run to the kitchen. Me and Gene, you know, you get two points. And let me get you a score. So it's 8-2-2. Two, two. So... You know, Feared Santa, maybe you should play more in Antarctica. But um, if you watch how Nico and Christy approach the net, it's so nice. They're not running. They're really positioned correctly. 
Christy is about three feet ahead of Nico when Nico's hit in the third shot drop. And again, I had to piece these together. Um, I'm not taking the fall for this. Nico, this is on you. You know? Christy probably learns stuff on you too. And I do. So we have 8 2 2. Christy hits a decent serve. Could have been a little deeper. Me and Jean keeps them back. And it's a Dinkin War. Beard Santa, I mean, if he played more, oh my gosh. Like, I believe he's playing with that Gearbox GX5 control. That's a beautiful paddle. Um, it's like a fine wine. It gets better with time. So we have Mean Gene serving. It's probably around 2-8. Mean Gene has a very nice serve. Uh, if anything, if anything, he speeds it up a little too much. Probably could have dropped a little more, but he won the point. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Mean Gene serving. I believe it's 3-8-1, something around there. Again, good positioning. Um, Beard Santa is about three feet ahead of Mean Gene. And Beard Santa, you could tell he probably played racquetball, has strong wrists. Um, and again, Beard Santa probably shouldn't have came in, but Mean Gene's driving, so Beard Santa needs to pinch middle, you know? He wants to give the gifts to the kids. If anything, I would tell Christy to go for a little more on her serve. Just a little more. Not too much. Obviously, in doubles, you don't want to miss serves. It's 9-2 or 9-3-1. Mean Gene is a good player. If anything, ah, Mean Gene probably could have reset that. He's been a little bit too predictable. Maybe hit a couple more resets, but, you know, what do I know? So it's 10-3-1. Christie's serving. Nice serve. To make that way into the net. Mean Gene should not have hit that. That was going out. As a rule of thumb, ball's going higher than your shoulder. Don't hit it. And again... I kind of had to piece these together. I'm not taking the blame. Nico, this is on you. And I'll get you a score. So Mean Gene serves. And again, Mean Gene has extremely fast reaction times. He knows what he's doing. That's a beautiful reset by Beard Santa. Now, Beard Santa, obviously, you made the right shot, but um, maybe just play a little more instead of giving the gifts to the kids all the time. Again, you could tell me and Gene and Beard Santa don't play together a lot because that's the second time Beard Santa got caught on a lob going too far into the court from me and Gene. So Nico and Christy want to bring this home. You know, it's closing time. Sometimes I sing closing time on the show. I'm not going to sing it, you know, in front of the village's people. Because, you know, they don't know me. That's a beautiful shot by Nico. Oh, if it's Santa's birthday, you know? You got to think it's Christmas. So it's 10-3. It's closing time. You can tell me and Dean and Beard Santa are extremely good. They'll probably be upset because this was probably not the best game they've played. Because you could tell that position is good. They're very good dinkers. You know. So send me games, me and Gene and Beard Santa. Oh. <laughs> That's a great game. It's just good sportsmanship. 
everyone had a good time. Guys, thanks so much for sending the videos. We're going to have more segments with Nico and Christy. We're going to record that progress. And we're going to keep connecting.